Y'all, it has been quite a while since I've done a farm update. We do have some new things that we did around here, and we have some new plans that we're wanting to do. So I just thought I would get you up to speed. So if y'all are new around here, my name is Kirsty, and me and my husband live on a small four and a half acre farm in central Arkansas. Now the only animals that we currently have here on the farm are chickens, ducks, and our dogs. <laughs> but one of our big, big goals is to get sheep on our farm. We really, really want to be shepherds and have our own sheep here. So one of the first things that we have to do on this property is fence off the entire property. There is a barbed wire fence on three sides of the property. Two of those sides are really old and they've like trees have grown up in them. So Tyler has been working really hard on clearing the two fence lines that are really grown up really bad. So I wanna show y'all what he's done. So here y'all can see that this fence is pretty old and it needs some help. But Tyler has been working on clearing all of this. Hey, Momo. <laughs> um, a lot of this over here was mainly just tall grass and weeds. And so he got that really well. That didn't take him too long. And then when you come over here to this tree, he had to really <laughs> get some work done on this tree. Now, as you can see, it had grown up so much that it had pushed this T-post out. So he cleaned this up here and we're going to redo all the fence posts. And then he got all of this taken care of. There are still some twigs and stuff like this still here. These have been cut. We just haven't removed them. A lot of them have these really big thorns. And so we didn't want to get those without gloves. All of this brush right here has been cut at the bottom, like at the base. Uh, we'll just have to come over here and clean this off. He got this tree cleaned up really well. Of course, we'll just have to clean it off the fence. And then right here, as you can see, this is the jungle. <laughs> um, this is going to be a really another big project that we're going to have to work at. I say we, but it's, it's Tyler. I haven't been out here doing any of this. <laughs> but this is what we have to tackle. So what he did was that day, he got to this point, and then he left that. And then you have all of this that we still have to do. But then right down here, he, I mean, I would say he got probably like 75% of this line, of this fence line cleared off. And so here he stopped there and then he came back here and he started working all of this. He got this to stand back up straight. Of course, whenever we actually do the fence, we'll put new posts and everything up. That way it's really nice and secure. And y'all, this is so, so much better than it was. This was so grown up that like you couldn't even see over the fence into the neighbor's property. <laughs> so I'm really proud of the work that Tyler did. And I'm just so, so excited. The only sad thing, and I even told Tyler this, I said the only sad thing about this is that right here, mainly on this back fence line here, every fall, wildflowers would bloom and they were so beautiful and so i told him i said that's the only sad thing <laughs> about knocking all this down is those beautiful wildflowers but this is about the end of where we are on this side of the fence line here's our creek it has been raining a ton so <laughs> she's moving really fast now i don't know if i ever showed y'all this before but Along here, like there's Moses, 
and along here this was full of trees and as you can see by this one pile here this is just one of the piles Tyler cut all these down and so now we have a much better view and access to this creek <laughs> Ooh. he's having a good day y'all but this is just one pile of trees that he got and then we're going to go over here. I'm going to show you all that creek a little bit better. It is seriously like one of my most favorite things on this property is this creek. Is the creek. Now it is a wet weather creek. So it's like in the summers when it's really dry and it's not raining a ton. Um, it'll dry up. But right now in the end of winter, beginning of spring, it has been raining so much so it's really full and beautiful but as you can see now we can just walk here and we just walk right up to the creek and before we could not do that there was tons of like thorny vines trees see like there's a stump right there our property does go a little bit past this creek and so tyler said his goal is to get this side of the creek done first all the way down and then he'll come back and do the other side. He doesn't want to clear it completely. He just wants to kind of clean it up so that way he can get the mower in there and mow. Um, like he said, like he'll probably leave like the bigger trees, but all the little brushy stuff he'll knock out. So that way it's easier to access the other side of the creek where our other property is. Here is a, another pile of brush that Tyler cleaned out. This is another section of the creek side that he got cleaned up um, i think he said that he might take these two trees out here i'm not sure i think he's thinking about it but we might knock these out here these are on this side of the creek but he has gotten this side cleaned up pretty well i would say he may have like 30 to 40 percent of this kind of cleaned up and then we still have all of this left to do he did start down there a little while ago i think it was like at the beginning of winter maybe and he has like three piles of brush that he cleaned out he's just trying to knock out the easiest stuff first <laughs> so that way when he is looking at his progress he can actually feel like he's done something And this, by far, is my favorite spot right now on the whole property. When this creek is flowing, it is so beautiful on these rocks. I've told Tyler several times, I said, I'm just going to grab a chair, come out here, and sit and listen to this all day long. And I seriously think I could do that. So that's the update I have for you on the fence line. Once we get this completely cleared off, we can save up to put up a good fence, and then we'll bring in some sheep. Now, I want to go talk to y'all about chickens. Y'all, as I was walking up to the chicken yard, I saw something beautiful. This is the first spring that we have had these peach trees here on the farm. And they are starting to bloom. And they are so beautiful. Oh, man, I am so excited. Can y'all see Rambo? He's sitting on top of the chicken feeder. Right there. <laughs> he is definitely the king of his castle. Hey, girly. Where's all your friends? <laughs> oh, we have an egg down. There's one over there. Where? There's oh, there's one. There. Goodness, they're laying everywhere. Yeah, it's, they're full. <laughs> it's been a couple days since we've been out here to get eggs. But I wanted to talk to y'all while I was getting these eggs. One thing that we're going to do this year is we're moving the chickens out of the chicken coop. And the reason we're doing that is because the chicken yard is where we're wanting to put our garden. And so Tyler has been working on modifying the old duck tractor. If y'all saw that video, um, he's putting wheels on it so it'll be more mobile. And we're going to move the chickens around. Did y'all hear Rambo? We're going to move the chickens around the property this spring and summer. So all we have to do is get some electric netting and then we'll be able to move them around. And then out there 
in the chicken yard, we're going to put our garden. So we went ahead and drew out on paper our plans for the garden this year. Now, like I said, this is going to be the chicken yard. Right here is the gate that you go in. And then right this right here is the chicken coop. We're always going to leave this there. It's pretty much a stationary piece. Um, but once we get the chickens out, we'll clean it out, maybe use it for some garden storage, and then we'll put all the hay and straw back in there whenever we put them back in there during the winter. But here on this front side, we're going to put some zinnias, some hot peppers, echinaceas, some more hot peppers, and some more zinnias. And then on this long piece right here, this is the side that's closest to the barn. We're going to put a row of corn or half a row of corn and half a row of okra and then in the middle here we have three that are in the middle these two right here are going to be full of tomatoes and then we're going to have one of green beans now this row right here is closest to the chicken coop we plan to put a mixture of different sweet peppers and then these right here are going to be shorter just because they're going to go from like the fence up to the front of the chicken coop. We plan to put some butternut squash, some zucchini, and then about half of this right here is going to be yellow squash. So it's going to meet up with this zinnia mix of flowers. Now I think my favorite part of the whole garden this year is going to be this back row right here and it's going to be full of nothing but sunflowers. Sunflowers are definitely my favorite, so for that, I'm really excited. In these two flower beds that are here on the side of the house under these two windows, we did have flowers in these last summer, but we decided that we took those flowers out. They weren't doing super, super great. They were doing okay, but we took those flowers out and we're gonna plant them along some other trees out in the front near the uh, end of the driveway. So in these two big planters, in this first planter here, I put some baby spinach and like a mixed spring lettuce. I haven't seen any of them sprout up yet. It's been about seven days. Um, the package said it could take seven to ten days. So I'm going to give it to ten, cross my fingers that it works. Um, if it doesn't, we'll just plant them again. And then over here in this planter, I planted broccoli. Now, we love broccoli, and so this is my very, very first time to ever grow broccoli. We've had smallish gardens in the past, and I'll tell y'all more about that when we start seeds. Um, but I've never tried broccoli, so I'm really excited. None of these have come up yet either. If y'all have any tips and tricks on these more cold weather crops, let me know. Because the last garden we had, um, we planted some, but we weren't really able to take care of them the way we should have. So y'all let me know down in the comments some of your tips and tricks. Those are all of the updates I have for you today. I'm really excited to get this garden season this year going. Um, this is technically, me and Tyler say this is like our first major garden. We've had smaller gardens in the past, and I'll tell y'all all about that when we start seeds here maybe in a month or so. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you.